Well, hello and welcome back to Competitive Multiplayer. It is early in November and it is quite dark. So, we need some fuel for this tractor, so that's going to be the first job today. We're going to go and get some fuel. Uh, all of these bales aren't quite ready yet, they're about 90%, so by the end of the episode we should be able to put a lot of these bales into the BGA and make a, a fair amount of money. In fact, looking at the money, I have got £269,000, so I'll tell you what, let's pay off the last of that loan. There we go, that's job done. The loan is all paid off. Right, so what I need to do, like I was saying, is get some fuel and get my trailer because the harvest is ready. All of our canola fields are ready to harvest. And the reason we need the trailer is because the harvester has got wheat in it. Which is not ideal. So we need to empty the wheat out. Uh, the canola should all fit into the harvester. If it doesn't, we will need to find somewhere to sell the wheat. But at the minute, we are going to be just trying to keep the wheat in the trailer and the canola in the harvester. Having said that, um, we don't really need to put the canola in the trailer because we can just bring it down to the oil mill and start that production off. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Never mind. So, how are we looking in that grass field? It looks like the grass is ready to cut again, he says, while drifting off into the barrier. Yep, that looks fully grown to me, so it's possible that we will be cutting that in December. That feels weird. Cutting grass in December. Very weird. But anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Obviously not playing with seasonal growth, growth switched on. Right, I do know that by the end of today we will also have another coffee bean greenhouse. Maybe two more. I think I think that would be really, really quite good. I'm going to sell this shed here. We're going to put another coffee bean greenhouse in its place. Probably going to expand out into the field as well once it's harvested. Right. I could have... To be fair, I could have put the harvester down and just started here, but I think because the harvester where it is, we're going to go and start with the field on the hill and then come down here and harvest because we've got two big fields down here um, and just the one up on the hill. I'm going to be buying some more land as well soon. It's going to be good. Oh, I didn't get any fuel. Oh, to be fair, I probably don't need it, do I? Because I've only got to take this up to the other farm. And that's it. Best price for wheat is actually in December. Question is, do I buy a flour mill and turn it into flour? Or do we just sell it? I wonder if the cost of the flour mill, I think 80000 or something, wonder if that would be covered by the sale of flour from this, I want to say, 6,000 litres of... I doubt it, actually. That sounds extremely unlikely. Let's say flour's about £3,000 for 1,000 litres at a push. Um, so, no, it'll be 6 times 3,000, which is 120,000? No. Come on, Robert, 6 times 3. 18. Uh, so, 880,000. Hang on. No. <laughs> Why can I not work things out? 6 times 3,000. It would be 18,000. 18,000 I'd get from the flower, which does not even come close to justifying the cost of a flour mill. Still, Without the flour mill, I'm going to get £650 or £660 from a 1,000 litres, so that's not much either. We need to really focus on productions, I think. I have had a comment on my videos to suggest that cookies are a good way to go. And that might be something we can look into. If we can get that started... 
maybe before Dex sees this video, then it's possible that we will have some cookie production on the way. Okay, so I am just going to park this here. I'm going to get into the harvester. We'll go and empty it into the trailer. We've got plenty of fuel. So we'll head up the top and harvest the first field. There we go then, field number one done. That's given us 13,571 litres of canola, which is only 15% of a harvester. So I'm pretty sure that we're not going to have any trouble whatsoever fitting the other two fields in here. So we'll head straight down to them now and do them. And uh, we'll see how much we end up with. It is only nearly 10 to 10 in game time. So hopefully, I'll be able to get the other bits done that I need to do today. So that would be moving the silage bales into the BGA and fertilizing the the vines again, the grape vines. That needs to be done before next time because I believe they will be ready to harvest very soon. And I want them to be at their absolute best. After we have done all this uh, in a couple of months time I'm going to be getting myself a bigger tractor we'll keep an eye on the sale and see if we can get a bigger tractor so that we can get bigger equipment I want to get a lime spreader so I can get all the fields limed I want to get a silo now someone did recommend a particular silo to me that would also collect milk from the cow enclosure because obviously the one I've placed down isn't, isn't doing anything um, so I'll have to look into that but if it's a mod we have to add then it's unlikely that it's going to happen unfortunately but yeah we are doing quite well I don't know how many litres in total we're going to come out with after this it's going to be a lot of canola which is absolutely fantastic because it means a lot of oil and I think what we'll do is maybe block the spawn point with something and and then we'll sell it at the opportune moment. Question is, what do I block spawn point with? I suppose the uh, the ideal thing would be the harvester, maybe just the header even. And then I could even look at maybe just um, planting uh, maybe I don't know sunflowers next time in all three of the fields possibly. I think the field up the top we may want to do as grass and buy the plot of land next to it that opens it up into the bigger grass field just because it takes so long to get the harvester up there it's unbelievable um, in fact I think what I'm going to do when, when we've harvested this bit down here because it takes so long to drive anywhere with this is we'll get the trailer emptied uh, by selling the wheat and we'll come down and empty the harvester with that with that wheat I think Now I'm fully aware that Dex is 
way out in the lead at the moment. Uh, he has got uh, maybe even close to two million pounds now. And it's all his money. He doesn't own, it, own anything to the bank. But we can catch up. We can do this. There's still a lot of time left. I truly believe that we are capable. There's a lot of people offering help uh, with suggestions on the comments and things like that, and even in Discord. Um, but I just believe it, it sort of breaks the spirit of a friendly competition if um, if there are people rooting for one or the other. I think, uh, I mean, you can, you can root for one or the other of us, either myself or Dex. But I think, like, telling us how to win is it's a bit on the nose, if I'm honest, and not something that we really... Dex and I have both agreed that's not something we're really going to pay too much attention to. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I know I, 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 I am very keen for the helpful suggestions. Uh, things like that silo idea to collect the milk, because I had no idea how much how, how I was going to collect the milk out of that um, that, that thing. But uh, other things like I don't know. <laughs> we're just not we're just not looking for a this is how to win guidebook because that would that wouldn't make the uh, the series exciting Dex and I have got a very friendly rivalry as you can tell from the um, the gate closures at the dealership but uh, yeah we're not desperate to um, to beat each other, I think. I think I could safely say that being the one that is currently losing by a lot. Anyway, with all that said, we are now down at the bottom field. Oh, and I have run into my own front loader. Okay, let's just get going, I suppose. And there we go. We are all done. So, overall, throughout the whole Canola Fields, we managed to get 36,781 litres, which is, of course, 43% of the harvester. I'm just wondering, we've got 230,000 in the bank. I'm wondering if there's any other Canola Fields. That could be. Oh, look, there's these two right next to the other farm as well. 47,000. 
and 56,000. Well, would you look at that? Well, let's go and get them harvested as well. And then we'll be over at the oil mill for emptying. I know there's going to be a lot of time lapses today, but I've got a lot of jobs to do as well. We're halfway through the day time-wise. Well, I'll say that. We can obviously continue uh, as late into the day as we like, as long as we don't go past midnight. But yes, I do need to get these fields done. I also need to get the vines sprayed. Uh, I might be able to put one of these fields on a worker. I think we'll do the funny shaped field to start with. And then we'll have a look at putting the other one on a worker while we... Uh, while we spray the vines, because spraying the vines is also very important. I've still got 150,000 left in the bank account. I'd like to put that towards a new tractor if I can. And something that can pull more than the Kubota. Well, the Kubota's not a bad tractor, but I want bigger equipment. Bigger equipment, more fields, more productions. That's the way to do it. Right, just check it actually on the price of canola oil at the minute. So, canola oil. 3.5. And it. Oh! Well, it's maxed out. Well, we need to get this into the factory first then and start producing it because we're wasting valuable, valuable time where it's at its maximum price. I'll see you over at the farm or the oil mill. Right, here we are, and as it turns out, some of the silage bales are ready as well. So we could, while this is emptying, which it will do now, we can get into this tractor, connect up to the flatbed, and connect collect the silage bales. to put into the BGA get that running as well so now that the canola's in I want to set canola oil to selling and activate canola oil right now every time I use this I need to uh, it's on easy mode that should yep pick them up straight away good uh, yes I know fuel empty Right, these two are both fermented. You can tell from the mini map, anything that's white is fully fermented. Anything that's still green is still grass. So, this one on the outside here is fermented. Uh, oh, crikey, that's a tree. That's not fermented. Um, the one on the corner up here is fermented. And all the ones straight ahead down here seem to be fermented as well. It should be a good first load, I think, to get the uh, the BGA going. That way, we'll have some digestate to spread as well today. There you go, this one will top it off. Okay. So, I need to unload bales, and then unloading assistant. 
Ah, it's on. Good. Oh, crikey. And then down. Why? Yes. Now we can fire the BGA back up. Uh, silage. Activate. Fantastic. And then we could get back to harvesting. By the time we are done harvesting, there should be even more silage bales ready to put into the BGA. And those ones that we've just put in would have been processed. In fact, I think all the ones in that top field are now ready anyway. Which is great news. Right, the field that we've just bought... Ah, is not ready. That will be ready next time. Which saves us a bit of time today, I suppose. But the one that we are heading towards, the funny shaped one over here. That one definitely is ready. I saw it on the way down to the farm. But yeah, that one isn't ready yet. So what we need to do is head down the road here, turn right into the field, and then very quickly harvest it as best we can. Last little bit. There we go. Right, now I've got a feeling that the oil mill will be working through the canola for some time. So we'll park this up at the edge of the field that we'll need harvesting next time. And we will uh, we, we will harvest that one before we put it into the oil mill. As for the BGA, that's already eaten through all the silage that we've put in it there are more silage bales ready so we're going to put the rest in it now and leave it to digest those while we uh, we go and spray the vines and then when it's processed all of those we will have a digestate and we will want to put that onto the field before it regrows another stage because i've got a feeling the next stage of growth is harvestable Potentially for the alfalfa. I know it does grow quite quick. But yes, this wants to stay here. Turn that off. Uh, I think this one isn't fermented yet. No, it's not. Oh, crikey. Why did I disconnect it? Okay, so stop unloading, operating position, excuse me, it's these four up here, these five up here, I should say, one, two, three, four, and five. See, I can count. And then there's the one round the corner. Which is in the trees over here. And I believe... That would be the... Last of the ones that are... Fermented. Now they can go obviously straight in the digester. It is still running even though it's empty. Uh, there we go. Uh, 
and drop. There we go. Uh, so that's all good. We will need to spread digestate. afterwards but first of all I want to go and spray the vines the last time we did it it was a bit dark I'd like to uh, have a go in the daylight so we can see what we're doing I haven't forgotten that I'll be buying that other field at the bottom with uh, at the vineyard when we uh, come around to harvesting so don't worry about that. Oh look, more wine. Lovely. Okay, we might as well start here and work outwards. There we go. And I'd like that map to turn... Yes, there we go. Oh, hello. Well, that says this hasn't been fertilised at all. But I fertilised it last time. Well, that's not good. I've... Is that the case for all of them? Oh. Well, I wonder if that's due to the fact that it said it wasn't using any fertiliser, maybe. But it was... It was on the map. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's not good at all. Oh, I've turned the map off now. That's no good. You see, now it's not... Oh, now it is fertilising. How strange. How strange. That is not good. That means I'm going to have to fertilise again next time, I think. Hmm. Oh well, at least it's not a lengthy job now that we've got this fertiliser anyway. This fertiliser sprayer, I should say. When I can do four lanes at once. Oh, I really hope this saves. Uh. Okay, well... We'll crack on with it, and we'll have to have a look when we come back next time. And if it doesn't save next time, I don't know what we should do. Well, there we go. So, weirdly, that's once again the first application of fertiliser. I think we'll look back at the save game, and if Dex is okay with it, I will just fertilise it all with the easy development mods. Um, yeah, hopefully he'll be alright with that. I have, I have actually done the work. There is evidence in my video.
So yeah, the last thing to do today then, we're going to be switching the BGA off because it would have run out of um, silage again by now. And we will be spreading digestate on the alfalfa. That's what we desperately need to do. Then. So, that's that all done. We're not going to bother refueling. That would be a waste of time, I feel. We are just going to spread everything that we've got, which I imagine is a fair amount, to be perfectly honest. I don't actually know. Ah. We do have a um, crop sensor, right, alt, B, oh, crop sensor is not been turned on, how do I, uh, turn on crop sensor, alt, B, right, alt, B, is it because I haven't got the tractor selected, there we go, alt, B, nope, maybe, oh, it, we, we established that. It doesn't work with alfalfa, does it? Okay. Well. We will just... Digest it until we've... Uh, well, digested it all. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'm glad that we've... I was going to say I'm glad we've got the second application of fertiliser done on the vines. We obviously haven't. Um... I'm glad we have got another application done on the vines, even if it is the first one, and I do have to do it all again. It doesn't take very long, especially with that spider sprayer. It's a very, very good sprayer. Right. I want to get all the... all the top section done first. Because... that is more grown than the bottom section. I'm hoping that we've got enough in there to... What have we got? 33,000. So we've got a reasonable amount in there. That should cover the whole lot, I'm hoping. We shall see. But yeah, uh, like I said... Oh, there we go, run out. Um, Next job, we'll be heading over to the other farm. And... Sorting out the shed and the greenhouses. I will need to take this tractor over. Well, for a start, because I need to water and fertilise the greenhouses. And secondly, we'll need to move everything out the way that is currently in the shed. using the mini-map here just to try and orientate myself as to where we've been and where we haven't. It looks like we are covering it fairly well, I'd say. I'd say we could probably start doing the bottom of the field as well now. Can't forget that bale when we pick these up. Hopefully they should be fermented next time. I don't see why they wouldn't be. They were cut a month after the other ones, so they should be ready a month after the other ones. 
Okay, we've got a couple more tank loads. We'll get this done. And then we'll head over to rejig the other part of the farm. So I decided to come and get fuel, if nothing else, just to stop that beeping noise. I see Mr. Dex is uh, doing some grass work. That's unusual for him. Yeah, and there's all these things. Hmm, he's got one of them fast bale balers. So he doesn't have to stop when he's baling. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about closing the gate then, but then I don't think he's got any need to go in there, to be perfectly honest, so why bother? Right then, so we will get back. We will sell our shed, which won't give us a lot of money, but it will make us a lot of space. We will move all of our stuff out the way. I'm going to plop a few more greenhouses down. Then... I am going to fill them up with fertilizer and water, make sure they're all set to selling, and we will activate them all. Hopefully, we will get a little bit further ahead before Mr. Dex cottons on what we've do done and does it himself. Uh, yes, I'll have to sell that toolbox as well, unfortunately. Right. Construction. Shed. 4,300. Eh, it's not that bad. Toolbox. 375. Now, that's quite a lot for a toolbox, but not too bad. Right. Hook that up. We'll hook up our tether. In fact, I'm not even sure that we need the tether anymore, to be perfectly honest. Oh, no, we will do, because we'll, but we uh, sort of only need it up by the cows, which is fine. Right, let's drop that off there. We can keep the weight on the front. Uh, yes, let's have a look then. So, production, greenhouses, coffee mod. That's what we want. In fact, before we do that, let's put on the interactive zone markers so we can see what we're actually doing. Um, I think it would be good to have... Nope, what am I doing? It would be good to have all the fill points in the middle, I think. Uh, one there. One there. And... One there. So... I need to go in here and make sure that they are all set to selling. And I want to activate them all. And this one's already set to selling. So we just need to fill them up with fertilizer and water. It's going to be several trips down to the lake, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a, uh, there's my bucket. Hmm. I don't really want to run over that, but I have done anyway. Okay, so I wonder if if I park this in the middle and do fill. Uh, I wonder if it'll actually just fill everything up. <laughs> might do. It might not. 
We shall see. Uh, 8,000 litres should be plenty to fill all these four. Well, from that, I would guess that I have filled them all up. Nope. That one's full. And that one's full. So it filled the two front ones. Should we do the same at the back? Ah. Uh. Right, so we've not got enough fertilizer for all of them. We'll sort that out in a minute. First thing to do then is to get the water in them. Ah, we've got a nearly full water container. Fantastic. Well, that's all going to go into one of them. Yes, it's all gone into the first one. Which is absolutely fine. We will need a good amount of water for all of this. Let's switch all my lights on, that'll be better. Uh, and now that the field's been harvested, we can head down here into the river this way. Fantastic. Oh, crikey, that's a bit deep. There we go. Right then, so I'm going to get this done. I will jump cut when I've filled them all with water. We're going to buy a lot more fertiliser. And I'll go fill the tanker up with fertiliser. And we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, we're going to get 10 pallets of fertiliser. Should be it. If it's not 10, then that's 11. Uh, 35,000. That's probably 10. Um, and we'll top up all the greenhouse because they is now. They are now all full of water. They have all got fertilizer, but they need to be topped up to keep going. I think 10 of those pallets will fill this tanker up. That'll last us a little while. Have to have a look at those multi fruit buying stations, see if we can buy one with a uh, liquid and solid fruit dispensary. Because I'll need that for liming the fields as well, which is something I want to do next time. Especially if we can get ourselves a bigger tractor and the, a lime spreader, that would be great. So, yep. Next time, we will definitely have more digestate to spread. Ah, good. Dex has left it open for me. That's nice of him. Unusual, but nice. So. This is going to take a while. I will jump cut. I will see you back at the farm. Well, I did buy 11 accidentally. But that's okay, it'll be there for next time when we need it. We could even bring it back to the farm. That would be perfect. It says 99% full, but the capacity of this tanker is 20,000 litres, so I don't know where that other 1% has fallen out. But either way, all we've got to do is just top up the greenhouses now, and then we are done. So... I'm pleased. It's been a pretty long day today with all the uh, harvesting and everything. But we are going to have to put in the time if we're going to want to win. Okay. Alright, that one was already full then. That one was already full then. So what have we got then? We've got two that are full. Oh, they're all full. Oh, well. Smashing. Let's park this up over here. And that is us done for the day. Turn the lights off. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon.
Bye for now.